Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time we've got the uh, Star Wars Celebration Europe exclusive Kylo Ren. Um, also, I think it's classed as probably a San Diego Comic Con exclusive as well, but um, being that I didn't go to either, um, I had to pay quite a lot to get this off of eBay. I was, I was quite happy with the price, but uh, um, it was quite a lot more than I wanted to pay, but that's fine. I was happy to have it. Um, well, I didn't pay more than I was willing to, but... Um, you know, I'm I'm just glad to have it. It was a piece of piece of awesomeness that I had to have. Um and we are getting this figure um the same figure packed in a singular box as part of the standard black series line. Um in, in the next wave, I think anyway, so um no rush to try and get this thing because it will come out again. Um and this is about the fourth different ver fourth version of Kylo Ren in the six inch series that we've seen. Um, we saw the fifth, the initial one on Force Friday, then there was a revised one with a um, different sort of detail scarf and a fixed up hood. Then we got the Starkiller base version with the snow weathering um, that come with the ice base. And now we're getting this one, the Unmasked Kylo, which should have been part of that Starkiller base being, it was a bit more accurate, but... Um, like, like I've said before, Hasbro sort of worked 12 plus months behind, so um, they may not have known at that stage that Kylo was going to be unmasked for that scene in the movie, so we've got no idea. Anyway, we've got it now, and that's the main thing. Um, really nicely presented box, as you see in front of you. This is really nice. With a Black Series logo on top and a knife slice, which I only just noticed, but that's okay. okay. Sort of a Kylo art on the back. Just scratching there just from where I've had it rubbing around on the shelf but you can pause that and have a read if you like just a little description a little sort of first order logo and that sort of gloss and boss look on the side and on the side there too and you can't see it because the oh there you go maybe just so that's just about it it looks nice so really nicely presented once you open it across so we've got the uh, burnt mask of Darth Vader there which is really nice we go across when we've got Kylo himself his lightsaber his interchangeable helmet the Darth Vader helmet and this first order sort of banner which looks really nice and it just closes up with Velcro so Looks quite nice. Firstly, we'll just have a pop this out and have a look. There's just a quite nice little display stand without having peg pegs on it. Some pegs on it would have been really nice so we could stand Kylo on it. But simply there's a peg hole at the top there. Just pop it in. And there it stands. Yeah, that's quite cool. Quite a nice little accessory. Um, I mean, not entirely necessary, but it's cool. I won't, I won't say no to it. Now we'll look at Kylo himself. This is a yeah, this is a good figure. Like I said, this is um fourth iteration of Kylo in the six inch series. Um few different things about this one. Obviously he's unmasked and you can swap that head with the uh one in the box there, which is cool. So if you missed a previous one, you can always do that with this one. So he's got the more rougher textured uh, scarf, whereas if I look at the one next to me, you can sort of see that's the original. So you can sort of see they've uh, they've just changed that up a little bit, given a little bit more texture, which is nice. Um, also, this one's belt is different. So his belt can be undone. And you can sort of see there, there's just a clip. And we actually get the plug for the lightsaber hilt, which is great. Just pop that out of his hand. And much like the three and three quarter version of the Black Series one, you can just slot that in, which really should have been on the first figure, but never mind. Very nice addition, I like it. We'll just pull back his hood for the moment, we can get a close look of his face. So we can get a little bit more light here. No, we're getting too much light. <laughs> so 
So I haven't got all that much natural lighting in here at the moment, but for the most part, it's a, it's a really nicely done sculpt. Obviously, these are all sort of scanned off the actors and built or built around those scans. So in terms of sculpt, they should be absolutely spot on. Um, they should be perfect. Obviously, they'd probably go through a little bit of detailing and stuff with the uh, hair, but um, for the most part, especially the face, they should be absolutely spot on. So I imagine they'd have initial 3, 3D printed um, off the scans and then they'd make the uh, tooling from there. But overall, very, very nicely done. It's good to have a uh, unmasked Kylo in this scale now as well. Really good. Articulation's the same as all the others we've had. <laughs> so the ball jointed head ball jointed shoulders and elbows and wrists ball inch torso or ball jointed torso ball inch hips swivel cut thighs double jointed knees and the ankles now, unfortunately mine's a little bit loose on the ankle there so i'll have to fix that up somehow but i'm not sure why but that's okay it's easily fixed and uh yeah that's that so i'll put him in there see if i can just get this Darth Vader helmet out before I do that I'll show you the lightsaber this is exactly the same as the one I've got in my hand <clears throat> so I'm glad they glad they fixed that design from the first one with the joined blades um, yeah that wasn't the, the best look I'm glad they went back and fixed it with this one and gave him the uh, the hilt option as well because that was just glad they fixed it now let's look at the Darth Vader helmet. Again, I believe this is a scan off a 3D, um, off a scan. This is a print from a scan. So this should be pretty accurate, but it looks good. I apologize for the light. I'm gonna try and tilt the camera down onto it. I'll have a look that way. There we go, that's a bit better. So it's a nice piece to have. I think what would have tipped this set over, like the Obi-Wan that come with the table, if this come with the uh, little table where Kylo keeps Darth Vader's helmet, I think that would have been awesome. Um, little accessory instead of the banner. The banner's cool, don't get me wrong, but I think if we had the little table to sit Darth's helmet on, that would have been an awesome display piece. So, just my personal thoughts. But, Overall, pretty nicely done. It's got a flat, flat bottom on there. So it sits, it would just sit there anyway, so it's quite good. I like it a lot. But, um, yeah, I personally, I'm not a big fan of the uh, hooded look. Let me just put the camera back up. I don't like this hood on the back, so what I've done to, to display him is I simply just peel that off the top. Pull the hood down inside out, pull it flat, and then I just pop that back over his head so that it sits over the over the hood. It just looks a little bit nicer. But that's just about it for this one, guys. Stay tuned because I'll um, post a few pictures at the end as I always do now. Um, just pose this guy up and take some cool shots. Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you're all doing well, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.